How did you like get started? It was actually a girl from the Berkner High School that was friends with a photographer that I work with a lot and she was like, hey, do you want to be a model? And I was like, I don't know. And then I met with the photographer and now I'm going and going. <laughs> I dance too, so those are kind of hard to match my schedule with and work out when it's complicated. My favorite part is probably whenever they do your makeup. They'll do it really weird sometimes, so you get to see yourself like all different kinds of looks. Favorite place to shoot is probably in Don Nixon's studio because that's just where I'm used to shooting in Tulsa anyway. My name is Don Nixon. I'm a photographer, a fashion photographer based in Tulsa, and um, I do professional scouting for um, a local agency, or it's Oklahoma City, but still in Oklahoma. And um, I found Marissa by uh, on through Instagram. Um, I messaged her and she asked, or we set up a shoot, and um, she was awesome. So. My family and friends are really supportive. They're, my parents have always been super good about helping me get places, and my friends are just like, they're always uplifting and like telling me like, you're gonna do awesome and helping me out with things. And, I didn't ever think I would be a model. I thought, I yeah, I never really considered it, but now that I'm like into it, I kind of want to keep going with it. My name's Becky Marshall, and I am Marissa Long's mom. You were eight pounds, 10 ounces. Mm -mm. It was I'm nine sorry. pounds. I was nine pounds, I'm sorry, nine pounds. That's right, yeah. right here. That was big. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that's, that's Marissa. We teased that she was, she looked like an Indian papoose. <laughs> I had black like, hair. She, I know, she's black hair. She got smaller. Like in a week, you lost like a whole pound or something. So when we first thought Marissa might get to do modeling, it was, um, it wasn't a surprise. One day she got a call out of the blue about uh, meeting up with this photographer. And I'm like, aha, uh -huh, sure, yeah. This is a photographer that's gonna, yeah make you a star, you know. But um, it ended up that he was just legit and really cool, and so we went to the studio and I went with her. It was a, you know, it was a really neat experience, and it was really cool to see her be everything that she was meant to be. Do you feel pressure? I personally don't, but I hear stories about like people that have just come across kind of rude models that will like, I mean there's that everywhere, but so I think that kind of affects some things. But. Um, it's becoming more difficult because like at first she was just going to Oklahoma City for, you know, a couple things and then we've driven to Dallas and had to drive four and a half hours there, four and a half hours four and a half hours back and her do a shoot all in one day. It's gotten a little harder, but I really been, you know, trying to be with her every time because I really wanna, you know, make sure that she's in a good atmosphere and make sure she's, um, you know, just, it's a good thing, a good, a good experience for her. I think I'll probably just continue with it till I graduate and then most likely take a gap year before I go to college and just do a straight year of modeling to like make money and get out there and then see where that takes me.